Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the evolution of solar panel technology over the past decade. We'll explore how advancements like N-type and heterojunction cells, bypass diodes, and half-cell technology have made solar panels more efficient, more powerful, and more reliable. So let's get started. First, let's understand the basics of how a solar panel works. A solar panel is essentially a collection of solar cells made from silicon. You might have heard of monocrystalline and polycrystalline silicon. Monocrystalline cells are made from a single crystal silicon wafer, which you might have guessed, offering higher efficiency but at a higher cost. Polycrystalline cells are made from silicon crystals melted together, making them more affordable, but slightly less efficient. Today, many solar panels use a hybrid of these materials to actually balance efficiency and cost. Now, let's talk about the latest advancement in solar cell technology, starting with N-type cells. N-type cells are more efficient and less prone to light-induced degradation, meaning they maintain their performance longer. These cells also have a higher tolerance to impurities, which improves their overall efficiency and durability. Another cutting-edge technology is heterojunction cells. These cells combine crystalline silicon wafers with amorphous silicon layers, capturing more light and providing higher efficiency, especially in low light conditions. Heterojunction cells excel in capturing a broader range of light wavelengths, making them highly efficient even on cloudy days or during early mornings and late afternoons, both of things that you want. Now let's talk about how these cells are connected within a solar panel. Solar cells are actually connected in series and then in parallel configurations. Series connections increase the voltage while parallel connections increase the current, boosting the panel's overall power capacity. That's where we get the wattage rating. One significant improvement in solar panels is the inclusion of bypass diodes. Bypass diodes allow current to do exactly that, bypass shaded or damage cells, maintaining the panel's power and efficiency. This technology is particularly beneficial for panels connected in series to a centralized hybrid inverter, like, hey, say a Tesla Powerwall 3. These inverters, equipped with multiple power point tracker inputs, optimize the performance of the entire system, making it more reliable with fewer components. The combination of bypass diodes and multiple power point tracker inputs ensures that even if one panel is shaded or not working, the others continue to function. This setup enhances the system's overall efficiency and reliability without the need of additional devices. The latest bypass diodes can actually handle higher currents and voltages, which improve the overall performance of the solar array connected to them. This means fewer issues with the partial shading and better overall production throughout the year. Another significant advancement is half-cell technology seen in products from companies that I like, REC and Q-cell. In half-cell panels, cells are actually cut in half, reducing electrical losses, and this in turn increases the panel's efficiency. These panels also have improved shading tolerances because each half cell can operate independently. This means if one half of the panel is shaded, the other can still generate power. Combining these technologies, advanced cell types like N-type and heterojunction, bypass diodes, and half cell designs has made modern solar panels far more efficient and reliable than those manufactured just a decade ago. These innovations ensure solar panels can generate more power over time consistently, even in less than ideal conditions without the need for additional components. In conclusion, the advancement in solar panel technology over the past decade have really been remarkable, from advanced cell types to improved connectivity and enhanced bypass diode technology. These innovations significantly improve performance and reliability of a solar system. 
If you found this video helpful, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and share this video. Hit the like button and leave a comment with your thoughts on renewable energy. And if you or someone you know is interested in making the switch to clean renewable energy, use that link down in the description below and request a quote. We make the process of switching to, to green power easy and affordable. So go ahead, request a hassle-free quote today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.